Winning a Champions League trophy is an objective of almost every footballing sensation, isn't it? But there were few players who not only had lifted this trophy, but the prizes of Ballon d'Or, the World Cup, Copa America or Euro in addition to these trophies. Let's find out. At number 6, Ronaldinho. This master of Elastico had won Copa America in 1999, World Cup in 2002, finally the Ballon d'Or and the Champions League in the same year of 2005. At number 5, Zinedine Zidane. This bald-headed playmaking genius had won World Cup and a Ballon d'Or in the same year of 1998, a Euro in 2000 and a Champions League in the year 2002. At number 4, Kaka. This wonder kid hailing from the federal district of Gama had won Copa America, Ballon d'Or and Champions League in the same year and the World Cup in the year 2002. At number 3, Gerd Muller. Der Bomber had won Ballon d'Or in 1970, a Euro in 1972, a World Cup and a Champions League in the same year. At number 2, Rivaldo. This bandy leg genius had won a Ballon d'Or and a Copa America in the same year, a World Cup in the year 2002, and a Champions League in the year 2003. Finally, at number 1, Franz Beckenbauer. De Cashier had won Ballon d'Or and uh, Euro along with his teammate Gerd Muller in the year 1972, World Cup and Champions League in the year 1974. On contrast, there are some Ballon d'Or winners who had the privilege of winning everything like the latter players except one accolade. They are Matthias Sammer who failed to lift the World Cup, Bobby Charlton, a Euro, Michel Platini fell short of a World Cup. Karl Heinz Rummenig fell short of a World Cup not once but twice. Rude Hollit a World Cup. And so does Marco Van Basten. Ronaldo Nazario fell short of a Champions League. So does Lothar Matthias. Paolo Rossi failed to win the Euro. Gianni Rivera fell short of a World Cup. Alfredo Di Stefano failed to win the World Cup and finally the duopoly of Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo who are yet to win the World Cup where the latest 2022 edition is going to be held this November at Qatar. Who is going to win this? Let me know in the comments down below.